Exterior windows. Painting an exterior window using Lustacryl or Enamacryl waterborne enamels. If repainting, treat moss and mould using resin moss and mould killer. Wash and scrub using resin paint and house wash and a 3M scouring pad to de-chalk and remove any contaminants including mould residue. Scrape and sand any flaked or unsound paint. If necessary, replace glazing putty. Prime or spot prime with either resin quick dry primer or resin wood primer. Stir the paint thoroughly using a flat bladed stirrer. Decant paint into a paint pot. The key to a top quality finish is to use a good quality brush in a size you're comfortable with. We recommend the Paint Aids Legend 35 or 50 mm cutting in brush. If hot and dry, add hot weather additive. After removing the lid from the paint, stir thoroughly with a flat bladed stirrer. Carefully decant one half to three quarters of a litre of the paint into a paint pot. Wipe excess paint and replace the lid on the paint can. Add hot weather additive to the decanted paint. We're using three caps full. We recommend its addition on all but the coldest days. Stir thoroughly. When painting windows, it is important to plan your approach. The rebates on the internal edges of the window and the frame are painted first. Start with the top edge and move down to the hinge side of the window jamb, painting both the inside face of the frame and the window before completing the opposite side and bottom inside face of the frame. Note how the painter holds his brush. This gives him greater control and is less tiring. He will also adjust his grip and the angle of the brush as he paints different parts of the window. Once completed, start on the edges of the window itself. Wipe away excess paint from the interior aspect of the window. After completing the underside of the window, close it to the last position on the latch and paint the window sash starting at the top rail, bringing the paint out over the putty and onto the glass by one millimetre before working around the window sash, painting the hinges and inside edge of the frame as well. Once done, paint the lower rail of the sash. And the leading edge of the window. As waterborne enamels dry faster than solvent borne enamels, it is important to paint in the same direction around the window, using the timber joins as a natural overlap. If the frame and the sill are being painted in a contrast colour, this edge and the rest of the frame should be completed after the window and the inside edges have dried, and it can be closed completely. The hinges are usually painted in the same colour as the window frame. After completing the second sash using the same techniques in sequence, paint the mullion rail. Next, paint the scribers or outer edge of the frame. It is best practice to paint the scribers on the weatherboard edge of the window frame in the same colour as the window. Leave the window slightly ajar, usually on the last position of the latch, and paint around the frame before finishing with the sill.
Try not to paint too late in the day to avoid dew settling and marking the paint. Allow three to four hours to dry before applying a second coat. Leave the window slightly ajar for 24 hours before fully closing. The availability of water-based enamels has fundamentally changed painting, and particularly so for exterior windows. If little preparation is needed, then painting windows is easy and straightforward, with many commenting that they have felt a real sense of achievement after finishing. The results will be impressive, and will significantly improve the look of your home. Good luck.